Northern Kentucky is with us now. Tyler Sharp and Dantez Walton represent the student body for the Norse. Head coach is John Brannon. So we're gonna ask John for a statement on the game and then we'll go to questions for all three members of the Northern Kentucky crew. John, please. Um, obviously, I want to congratulate Texas Tech. Uh, they're everything that they're cracked up to be in terms of defensively. I did have concerns with our ability to score, and that showed up today. Uh, their physicality. Uh, I was hoping we'd get to the foul line more in terms of driving the basketball. We weren't able to do that at all. Uh, their physicality uh, in, in just kind of put us in situations that we weren't comfortable with. And then we just, you know, didn't shoot the ball well. Five of 22, you know, or two. You know, two of our leading scorers are four of 25. So, you know, it happens. Uh, I told our guys I apologize. I wish I could have put them in some better situations to be able to assist with that. That being said, uh, you know, 26 and nine, um, you know, you sit up here as a, as a mid-major school uh, with an opportunity to play in the NCAA tournament and uh, continue to advance. We were 15 seed, 14 seed this year. Uh, you know, I couldn't be more proud of our young men and for what they've accomplished. Um, the NCAA tournament's all about matchups, and uh, I felt like we had a few other matchups that would favor us a little bit better than tonight's did, and I think that came to fruition. Uh, we'll continue to put ourselves in position. Um, you know, the guys to my left here were, were amazing tonight and have been all season. You know, my message to them is we won't define ourselves by one game. How could you? We're 26 and nine, and what they've accomplished the last three years has been never been done in the history of basketball. Uh, so. Couldn't be more proud of them, and uh, we'll get better from this, and we'll continue to put ourselves in position to be sitting up here answering questions in the NCAA tournament. Start right here. Thank you. Uh, Coach, um, very tight game at halftime, uh, and then it uh, opened up there a little bit in the second half. I mean, what was, what was the key uh, difference for Tech being able to break it open a little bit? Yeah, we, we, we really defended in the first half despite struggling offensively, and in the second half, those struggles offensively, carried over to the defensive side, which I was concerned with, you know, with the, the gaps. And listen, Culver is an NBA player, okay? He's going to be in the NBA for a long time. So, you know, he has a lot to do with that, but the gaps that he had opened up a great deal for him in the second half because we, we, we weren't in the same position we were in the first half because of frustration, fatigue maybe, you know, their physicality and athleticism that they bring to the table as a high major school is, you know, impressive. So I think a combination of those two things. John, a, a follow-up on uh, Culver, his uh, activity, uh, driving to the basket, three-point shooting, assisting. I think he accounted for like 38 of their first 57 points. How much of a handful was he, if you could expound on that, please? Uh, I mean, I don't know what else to say other than, you know, he's a, he's a tough matchup. You know, he can put the ball on the floor. He can score. We wanted to make him a passer. We wanted to force him to have a high assist night. Didn't think that was necessarily what he did well. And uh, he had seven assists. John, it looked like Drew had a couple shots early on that he ordinarily makes in, in and out. Were those the kind of shots that need to go in for you guys to have a chance to? Yeah, John. I mean, the, you know, the, those shots got to go in for us to be in position. I mean, any 14-3 upset that you're going to have in the NCAA tournament, guys are going to make shots. And uh, we were 5 for 22. Uh, Greg Eklund, this is for AP Broadcast, and this is for Tyler. Um, they were approaching double figures in uh, – block shots today. Did their interior presence uh, uh, make you hesitate in, in attacking inside? <clears throat> uh, I don't know if it necessarily made us hesitate. I know for sure that they affected a lot of shots, even the ones they didn't block. Um, they got some long athletic guys that can really get, get up and they make shots very tough and they do a good job of going straight up without fouling. So I don't think it necessarily changed our mindset. I just think they, they affected a lot of shots and floaters and finishes at the rim we usually make were getting altered a little bit, which hurt our percentage. This is for Tyler as well. With, with Drew, the way that he was shooting, missing some shots, what was your mindset like, you know, being the guy that was, that was putting the ball in the basket? Uh, I just had the same mindset that I come into every game with. I mean, we rely on Drew a lot. He's led us this whole season. He's led us his whole career. So I didn't feel like I had to necessarily take his role because we trust him, even if he's missed every shot, we trust he's going to make the next one. I just took what I, what the defense gave me and basically just had the same approach I always have. Coach, did you anticipate uh, uh, Texas Tech's points of emphasis on stopping Drew McDonald? Yes.
My question is for Dantes. Um, you had a pretty great rebounding game. Do you want to just explain the confidence that you kept throughout the game to do that? Uh, coach brought it to our attention early in our game plan that we need to uh, attack the glass defensively and offensively. So I just tried to keep that on my mind heavy, and it paid out. Yep. This is for Coach. Just what was the message in the locker room with the season that you guys had and now those seniors that are moving on? Uh, what was what was the message after a loss like this? Uh, you know, one one game doesn't define us. You know, it, we've had an unbelievable season. Um, really appreciative. I told you know we're not sitting here today without Drew McDonald and Zanai Robinson and the contributions they made. And um, you know, really, the brand of Northern Kentucky is really something that's recognized as a championship caliber program. And uh, we're going to continue to put ourselves in position to advance in the NCAA tournament and hopefully continue to get better seeds by, you know, doing what we're doing. And uh, the message was thankful, grateful to the two seniors and the challenge of keep getting back here to the guys that are returning, which we have a you know, pretty large.